It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. <laughs> Oli kolmis sormis mai, oli reikä rauta brown. Ja tapahtuma paikana oli Jackson Willie Town. I must come, he's my husband. I know he's your husband, but it's gonna be... Well, it's gonna be violent. I insist. Insist all you like, ain't happening. Arthur Taylor. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there, you heard him. Now let's go. But, but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why ain't the crime sore? But I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Kohdella henkilöllä pala pelastusoperaatio. Thank you both. Give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find our spot. Look for John. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Yeah. How many times, Marshall? <laughs> Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. Someone sees us. Okay. Come on up. John. Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn just to our right. Oh, uh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out and let's go get our... Let's go over there and see. Okay, come on. I think one of those guards was still moving.
Joudutaan ampumaan koko paikka. You put the gun down. Now. Where's John Marston? He ain't in the work detail today. One of his hacker. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, sir. Very clear. Oh no, you don't. Patti vanki on. Excuse me. I said apologize. I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson, who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quiet with the captain's boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. Shit. No. So, you are... Popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Come on, march him straight up to the front gate. You better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Put the weapons down now! Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's in South Denise. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. No. Uh, Milliken, uh, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, Faster. 14, 15. Now hurry up! <laughs> well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Now hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on! <laughs> don't cry, buddy. I don't wanna die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Hello, you too. Toihan ne saa rikottua. Mr. Mannequin here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! Let's clear these and make a...
Some fellas coming here don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boss. Let's move. I'll row. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You, you're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them. I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, oh, hurry up. They're going to be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. Uh, hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... Like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And then we... What about the, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It was the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. 
It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> You're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. Se on se, and, uh, I should warn you. Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so it might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. Mm -hmm. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. <laughs> Guess not. To me. We yep. told you we would. John! What are you doing here? Yeah. Good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. <laughs> Is that so? Yes. Dutch when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John! John! You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They they was talking to hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Dutch taitaa uskoa vähän liikaa itteensä, tai jonkinlainen niinku deluusio uskoo omiin juttuihinsa. Aika jännä. Aika jännä tunnet kans tällä Arturilla. Arthur! Mm. Arthur! Oh, sorry. I was miles away, thinking of, uh, I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. Hmm. Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Herr Strauss. How are you? About. Honestly. About how I look. Okay. <sighs> are you, um, are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your commitment to your duties is admirable. <coughs> you know, Mr. Morgan, you are... Well, I'm sorry for you. Hmm? No, never mind, I didn't... Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I... Uh, I... A debtor, Strauss. Who owes you money? Well, uh, there's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Ha, Get to him us. first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called, well, he's called Arthur, <laughs> like you, <Huh. laughs> Arthur Londonderry. 
Family man, desperate, you know the type. Couldn't one of the boys do this? I tried. They lacked your... vigor. Vigor, huh? huh. All right. Uh, take care, uh, uh, Mr. Morgan. I'm going to hold on to cover him. You all right? Oh, looks like you can use a hand. Oh, please. Please help me. I'm, I'm losing blood. Oh, please save me. Come on. I can't feel my leg. Come on. Feel my leg. Keep pulling. I can. Oh, God. Oh, oh, you did it. Oh, oh, I, uh, I gotta get some scrap or, or something here. Oh, oh, mister, you, I thought I was gonna be, oh, go! Oh, oh, I thought I was gonna be a god. Oh, you, you can take whatever you want from my pack for saving me. Oh. Here. This will help with the pain, at least. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. Oh. Can you help? Sir! Some help! Can you help me, mister? What's the problem? My goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. Ah. He that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Uh. Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. I'm gonna spook you here. Come on. You're not so nasty. I found him. You're a good man, mister. Mr. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse. Aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you wanna hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Wore him but a snake that spooked him. <laughs> you're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty uh. clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. Young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish, enjoy the outside. I weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. 
You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great. So between the two of us, we do okay. <laughs> My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's run there. Uh, Thanks again. Yeah, you throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm going to put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was told he works here. Londonderry? Oh, you'll want to speak to the foreman. He's down in the pit. Arthur Londonderry. Is he here? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> The man's dead. What's wrong with you? Oh, boy. You can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> you might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a-knocking. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken moneylender. My friend! Oh. This guy's your mysterious savior. Uh, howdy. I was just telling my friend here about how I nearly died out there one night. Ooh, sounds sounds like like a quiet Here's an idea. Fool Fool okay. friend. Pick out what you want and I'll pick up the tab. Hmm? It's Jenkins. Ooh, yes indeed. Anything for you, buddy. Anything. You are nothing if not generous. That's kind of you. Thanks. Hey, friend. What do you need? Man in town named Jenkins owes me. Said I could put something on his tab. Jenkins, huh? All right, take a look around. That was a lucky yes. I said, hell, even a blind hog finds an acorn every once in a while. <laughs> hey, you want company, boys? Sure, because I want to be pissing needles tomorrow. <laughs> Mrs. Dow. <gasps> go away. Just go away. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but I... Well. Well, you're sorry. Yeah, I heard you. But, I mean, well, I, I, this country is man unleashed. That's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than it's anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness, not just hell's feeble brothers, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight, I guess. I was set free to fight. Where's your son, Mrs. Down? Where you think? Down the mine. Until he gets sick. Which won't be long, given how hard they work him. See, foremen don't like him, so he gets the worst of it. Maybe I could go... Well, maybe you could just leave us all alone. Maybe. Maybe you could just go fight some other battle. Mr. Dockery. Oh, your mouth's a horn. That's a goddamn fact. Hey, why don't you shut up? Oh, oh, all right. oh. Who's this, your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. Get out of my business, mister. Leave the boy alone. Or what? I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. Ah, uh, oops. <laughs>
<laughs> er der re refleks i? Ja, ei saa tappaa sen tää. No job, and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this, all of it. Try and talk to your mama, and get out of here. Now run. I'll try. <sighs> Good boy. I don't want to see you here again. My God, that idea. Was you followed? No. Was you followed? I said that no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? Yeah, don't, uh, that yet. <laughs> you don't look about this. so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And yeah, not inside you, ain't I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? Yeah. On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, mm. but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Uh. Maybe time for folks like us has passed. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are and where we are and what we're doing. The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the wheat go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us pinned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Yeah, huh? how we touch. Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall yeah, boy, alone. Alone. He ain't. <laughs> we need money, but revenge now? Of course, it's for money. Come on, Art. This better not be no stupid. Revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur. It's just a simple social call. I want to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here. And I'm leave gonna the law for them as need them. Okay, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... Feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. 
you rob, I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob, and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. You better eat it. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. Yeah. Noise, Arthur! No voice! Oh, okay. Really well. Semi-automaattinen haulikko on aika tehokas.
ilmansa tulee. <laughs> Ainakin yritimme. Tähän toistais vähän ehkä ansaita niinku vuodi. Kannatti olla kaksi kiväriä mukana. Morgan. Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch. It won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hot now. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. Okay. And there's bombs at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Okay, Mike, how Newton has it, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> 